Thank you, Mr. Postmaster. I'm actually reading Condoleezza Rice's uh, memoir, which is uh, no greater honor, no higher honor. It's a very thick book, and it's a hard read, so I'm taking quite a while to, to read it. Now you can start my time. Somebody said that time starts the moment the first word is uttered. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the, you know, the speech. This is number seven speech, which is to research your topic, where the speaker is to select a subject of importance to the audience that requires a large amount of research. The speaker is to collect information from numerous sources and carefully support points with specific facts, examples, and illustrations rather than with just the speaker's own opinions. My gosh, I can't imagine how anybody could have done any better with that Picking statement that. than Tatyana did with that speech. She did exactly what that sentence says in the manual. I've never seen anybody give this speech so well and meet the criteria as well as she did with this speech in fulfilling the requirement for the, for the research. And if you don't believe it, by golly, it's right up here on the screen. <laughs> and she showed us the specific items that she talked about. Just very, very effective in, in that regard. She did ask me to look at a couple of things during her speech. She says, I'm giving a very boring speech. I don't know if people are going to fall asleep. And then she wanted me to comment on her use of PowerPoint because her next speech is visual aids and she wants to be ready for that. Well, first of all, you notice the first thing that Yana did when she came up here she didn't say a thing. She turned off what was ever, whatever was on the screen at the time, so it didn't detract from what she was going to say. That's a perfect example of how you should handle that. Don't start talking like I did until you're ready to be timed. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm very effective at doing that <coughs> correctly. I thought that, well, again, the speech wasn't boring. We're all Toastmasters, and we hear about starting <laughs> sentences with fanboys all the time. And you sort of set us straight with that. In fact, you started off with a great opening. You put the fanboy slide up, got our attention, it was colorful, and then you defined it, and you were able to bring humor into the whole, it, the whole explanation. So very well done there. And again, we're Toastmasters, so talking about grammar is really not boring to us. As far as the use of PowerPoint, I thought it was excellent. You had a good mix of styles. And when you weren't using it, you made it blank. It would have been better if you turned it off and made it dark. I think F8 or something on the keyboard, or at least it used to make, make it dark rather than still be on. But that's very, very minor. The only suggestion I would have is maybe your mix of styles is almost too great. You had a, a few slides with very short bullets and another slide or two that was just filled with words, although you were making a, a specific point with the word so. But for the next speech, you might not want to use quite that same technique. The couple of very minor things I would have, first of all, at the end, you said to wrap up, which meant you were going to conclude. And it was a very short conclusion. You were obviously out of time as I am now. And so you wrapped it up very quickly. And I think you need to have a little bit more for the conclusion. You thanked us at the end. We thank you for being, being up here. So I thought this was an absolutely fantastic speech. And I think we really do have the right person as Vice President of Education in this club. <laughs> 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 <laughs>